David Bradley had had a very successful career full of inventions and impact. But his career seems to be defined by one thing. I hope our three quarter finalists are into computers because computer history is the category. Here comes the clue. IBM engineer Dave Bradley is called the father of this multi-key combination. 30 seconds, good luck. Control-Alt-Delete came about because we had a problem during the development of the IBM PC. You've got brand new hardware and brand new software. Things would break periodically. So I decided to put in a shortcut. Hit these three keys, the machine would reboot and skip the long power on self-test. Control-Alt-Delete might be Dr. Bradley's most famous innovation, but it's one of many significant contributions he made to the computer industry. David Bradley graduated from the University of Dayton in 1971 with a degree in electrical engineering. After getting his PhD from Purdue, he got a job with IBM's Advanced Development Group. Early in his career, he was selected to be part of the original 12 engineers tasked with designing the first IBM PC. My contribution to the IBM PC was the BIOS, the Basic Input-Output System, which is very low-level code which controls the hardware. There were hardware engineers doing the hardware. There were engineers at Microsoft doing the operating system. But Dave was the guy in between the two. Dave worked closely with Microsoft and made many trips to their headquarters, including the delivery of the first IBM PC prototype in 1980. We show up, knock on the door. The guy that answers the door is Steve Ballmer, who's now the CEO of Microsoft. And he, I think he's done well. He's gone from receptionist to CEO in the uh, time since uh, 1980 when we delivered the machine. Actually, there's only about 25 people working for Microsoft when we showed up there. I think Steve was lingering near the door because he was excited that we were going to be showing up. So it was a very small group. We had a very secretive location in there because nobody was to know that IBM was there. And one of the things I'm very proud of is that I can say I met Bill Gates when he was worth only millions. Twenty years later, Dr. Bradley joined Bill Gates and several other pioneers of the PC industry in an event celebrating the anniversary of the IBM PC. He was asked about creating the Control-Alt-Delete command. You know, I have to share the credit. I may have invented it, but I think Bill made it famous. <laughs> Bill kind of gave me a look. After all, here's a man who can afford his own tactical nuclear weapon sitting just 20 feet away from me. But the next morning when I awoke, there was no horse's head in the bed with me, so I think he took it quite well. The contributions of the PC Dirty Dozen team has become a legend, mainly because it was done by 12 people that conceived, designed, developed, and shipped a usable system in little more than one year. So he was the developer of a product that totally revolutionized the way we conduct our lives, the way we do our work, the way we play. Uh, he's had a tremendous impact uh, on, on all of us. When we were working on the IBM PC, we didn't know it was going to become such a huge success. We enjoyed it. We thought it was cool. It was a great thing to work on. We could show our families what we were working on, but we didn't expect it to change the world. We didn't expect it to make millions and billions of dollars for the IBM company. We were just having a good time. The BIOS David created for the IBM PC was licensed to other PC manufacturers, resulting in large profits for IBM. David went on to work on many other projects, serving both as a valued team member and a team leader. He holds seven U.S. patents for his innovations. David Bradley uh, embodies the innovative spirit uh, of our culture. It is that same innovative spirit that we are nurturing in our students. We're challenging our students, who's going to be the next David Bradley? Who's going to be inventing the next product that's going to revolutionize the way we live?